Have a nice day. Thank you. Good morning folks and welcome to another video. We're here in the Austrian Alps today. Sun's coming up, it's just got nine o'clock. I just caught the first cable car up to 2,020 meters. That's where I am now. See there's a bunch of signs behind me. Uh, basically, we are at the Panorama restaurant, which is here. This is my little leaflet map thing that I'm working with. So we got a, a round today that we're gonna do. It's about six hours, I think. Um, I might possibly sort of cut down through the middle. Just depends, because uh, there is a storm due in, but I want to get the higher peaks done first. So we're heading up to the Veta Cruise. Um, so I was up there yesterday, actually. Again, I got up here much later than intended, or not again, I got up here much later than intended, um, and I was worried about time. So I basically decided to do a smaller route. Uh, so today, we're gonna just skirt around the edge of that route and then continue and do the circle. Um, I'm doing this like you can see it. <laughs> uh, so it should be really, really good. Uh, let's hope the weather holds. Anyway, let's just take a quick look at the map and then let's get walking. All right, we are here. So we are gonna head up to the Hotte here and then we're going to head up to um, the Vetakus, which is this one. So yesterday I went up Hoskopf, um, so 2591 and then basically we're going to, oh no, yeah, and then we loop around here. I keep wanting to do this but that is a big route. So I'm going to do that as a route another day, um, depending on if I have time here and the weather holds. But today we're just going to cut down here through the valley, beautiful walking um, uh, towards this one, towards the Kneppenhaus. Uh, and then loop back around to where we are now. So that's the plan. So doo -doo 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 -doo. apparently it's six hours. Let's see how we go. Always good to have a walking pole in this kind of place. Um, I'm actually wearing a knee support for the first time as well. So that could be interesting, but just wanna make sure my body doesn't fall apart because sometimes it feels like it is. Anyway, walking pole, let's go. The first leg of the walk kept me in the shade, which I greatly appreciated, as it was really quite warm out already. The paths were good and clear, and my spirits were high. It wasn't long before the views opened out, and I found myself looking down over the Ötzl Valley, where my journey had begun about an hour earlier. Hi, so we have a sign. Hoskopf is up there, that's where we went yesterday. And then Veta Cruz, so that's our high point for today, about uh, 2,500, just up here. So when we get there, pressing on into new territory. Let's go. All right, so I haven't been filming too much yet because this is all familiar territory. Uh, having done this walk, this bit of the route yesterday, we're just about to round over the brow now. So Veta Cruz, 30 minutes, obviously up there. Uh, and then I think just follow this ridge around and then it drops down. So easy enough, making very good time today. I'm just plying up the, the mountain. Uh, I think these, these times are very generous with, with how long they suggest everything's gonna be. I'm happy with that. <laughs> See the top just up there? Doing really good. Cannot get enough of this backdrop. Really spectacular. And there's Earths down there in the valley. Sun is uh, just coming over the top there. Last little bit in the shade. And we're almost there actually. And there it is. That's the top of the Veta Cruise. 2,591 meters above sea level. Feeling pretty superhuman right now because that took me just over an hour and I really was not pushing. So, good job. Uh, quick dash up, poke the summit, and then we're on to figuring out the next leg of our walk. Super stoked. Gonna be good. Jolly decent range of mountains this is. And the statement of the universe. Yay! 
boom. Versa cruise done. So how long does that take? Uh, watch. One hour, 23 minutes. Good. Incredible views. Incredible. The views really were second to none. They took my breath away time and time again. And to be honest with you, they were the reason I find myself hiking higher and higher in the mountains with each year that passes. Left the Veta Cruz. Awesome. I'm not actually sure how to pronounce this one. Vorgetal, maybe. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going to drop down now. So that's the highest stuff done for today, I believe. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Uh, I'm just loving how I'm feeling today, feeling really good, really strong, um, just in awe of the mountains, in awe of this experience that my body can carry me up here. Um, I don't even have the words today, I'm just feeling very, very grateful and very humbled and the mountains usually reduce me to tears at some point, <laughs> doesn't always happen in front of the camera but uh, who knows, <laughs> today might be the day. <laughs> here we go then, so the trail. So switchbacks down here and then all the way down from the looks of it and then down through the valley. I wonder if this is glacial, sort of bowl shape here, possibly left behind by glaciers in the last ice age. Going down, sort of nice scree landscape, not too bad. Uh, very clear path, which is always helpful as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun. It's really nice how in parts the heather is just lining the trail. Very delicate and small plants up here because obviously the shallow soil. But it just adds a splash of colour to this harsh landscape. It's very peaceful here today. There's hardly a breeze. And all I can hear is my breath and my boots crunching against the ground. It's uh, a very calming place to be when you're comfortable in the mountains, but you do need to know what you're doing. And what with the forecast, um, with the storms coming in this afternoon, I'm constantly scanning the sky for any signs of a front moving in, you know, the high cirrus and the strata, etc. <laughs> Just want to keep an eye out for those clouds that might signal that the weather is changing. Obviously we're staying in the valley, but you can see this trail here, just going up the side of the mountain, joining the ridge. I mean, that's got to be a pretty decent walk, possibly climb because it's a bit pointy and gnarly. <laughs> Good views. I really couldn't get enough of it all. I was now walking in the Virgital Valley, a vast space surrounded on all sides by craggy summits and walls of rock. My only company along the path was the odd sign for the Via Alpina trail and wee streams tumbling down from meltwater above. Ah, oh, this is so nice. Little waterway coming through here. Oh, just love that sound. Best sound. It is running down. Shining in the sunlight. <laughs> Seriously, this route is just mind-blowing. Can't get enough of it. It's like mountains, 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 mountains. Little uh, meandering waterway path just going wherever he wants. It's just, it's, I, no words. It's so, so beautiful. Sure. Nice. Check this out. Tumbling down.
see how this is slabbed up ahead. Conservation management, trying to just help to reduce erosion, I guess. So areas like this are very popular for hiking in the summer season. Gets a lot of people coming through. Um, so by putting down the slabs, it just helps to protect the thin layer of soil that resides here. I mean, it takes thousands of years for the soil to even be generated here. So once it's eroded, it's eroded. That's why these slabs are actually a pretty good thing to find. As I descended, I soon saw the turquoise blue waters of Purchasee glistening below. It was a little bit further along the trail that I realised exactly where I was. Whoa, what is this? I did not expect to find this today. A water wheel. <laughs> that is insane. Oh man. So cool. This was a knappen house, all part of the Miners Trail, which takes hikers to the most important spots where around 350 years ago, miners would mine for copper, pyrite and galena at altitudes of up to 250 metres. Little wheelbarrow type things. Random. A uh, picnic table. Oh my gosh, they gave me a heart attack. <laughs> That is somewhat terrifying. It's a museum. Oh, did not like that. Oh, all about the, the history here. Wow. No way. Oh, another person. All right, dropping down to the lake. There's a bench down there. I'm gonna hang out for 20 minutes or so by the water. The lake was a peaceful spot, but very popular too, as it was easy to access from the cable car and a relatively short walk. Still, I enjoyed the company, watching dogs sploosh about in the waters to cool off. They made me smile, as did everything in this amazing part of the world. Oh my gosh. So in amongst the Alpen Rose, which is this, are bilberries. You can see the bushes, there's just a few big berries on. And uh, I managed to get a handful. I mean, there's not too many about, but there's enough to make it worthwhile. <laughs> then, when you have a handful like this, all you can do is eat them. Mm. Oh. Mm. That was just one of the best experiences on the face of the earth. Man. Oh. So good. So, 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 so good. I'm struggling to walk away. There's so many bilberries. I just want to pick them all. No. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, saying goodbye to the lake now and the Knappen house. Very interesting place that really uh, pricked up my ears. Just the history that lies within that space of the mining. Um, the hut apparently isn't normally open, so it was nice to be able to see in there and fill you in on the information that it holds. Anyway, I'm just sort of making a speedy retreat because uh, a lot of families decided to leave at the same time <laughs> and they're a little bit noisy. No, no, she's just a bit noisy, so. Pressing on now along the miners' way. So that obviously is where this trail gets its name from. The miners working out here at uh, about 2,000 meters above sea level. I mean, it's sunny now, but in the harsh weather, this would have been a pretty tough place to work. Okay, we've got a bunch of signs here. Let's have a look. Should be telling us where we're headed for. Yeah, so that is the cable car. That's where we're headed for, two and a quarter hours. Easy. And then just over here, we have a sign showing about the flora and the fauna, which is pretty nice. The next leg of walking was really special. 
The landscape felt tranquil and welcoming. It felt wild, yet tame. There were needle trees of various types, wildflowers and loads of lichen, indicating that the air was good and clean. There were meadows too, filled with butterflies too fast for me to film, and bees so fluffy I just wanted to stroke them. All right, so we got this sign here. So the next peak is up there. Um, so you can go over the top and sort of rejoin this trail. I'm gonna stay on the miner's way just because I never know if there's any more historical stuff coming up. Um, so the next local or site of interest even is Balbach Alm. Uh, so that's a restaurant clearly has a fork and a knife on it. <laughs> It was from this point that I found myself treading some of the most spectacular walking I would enjoy this year. The Alps at their best in the summer, and the views can most certainly do the talking. just up ahead which is great got a couple of ski lift things around here actually sort of seems to be probably quite a popular spot in winter <laughs> all right what does this sign say Half an hour to the cable car. Good, I can take that right into the sun. <laughs> Second one down on the big plaque. The Balabak Am was tucked away on the mountainside near the cable cars and ski lifts that run year round. I had to cross a small stream to get there, but then I couldn't resist popping in to see the homely hut, apparently boasting traditional Tyrolean cuisine. I didn't buy any food but a good old latte macchiato went down very well indeed. We are back on the move, heading up to the cable car station now. Apparently it's half an hour away, so 20 minutes away. <laughs> uh, really nice stop for coffee, just chilled out, wrote a bit of a blog, uh, looked over at the views. Hadn't anticipated stopping there, but it was just doing so good for time. And it was a really nice place. Uh, I just need to warm up a bit because I was sat in the shade. <laughs> the last leg certainly didn't let me down, with great views all around. I could see the weather front gradually brewing on the horizon and was pleased I'd managed to beat it, with plenty of time to spare. Just feeling... Um, Again, very humbled and grateful by this place and being able to spend time in the mountains. Um, I always feel sad when a day like today comes to an end, just because I've loved it. I've lo I love how every twist and turn has something new to show me. Um, externally, landscape-wise, but also internally, as I sort of take on board everything that's going on. Um, so, just sitting with that feeling for a bit, and I'm going to whip back up to the cable car, and then whip back down on the cable car <laughs> into Ertz. So, that is it, that's today's walk done. I mean, here's the place, we're just a couple hundred metres away. It's going to be busy. <laughs> uh, yesterday, I caught the last one down nearly. Everyone's queuing up, ready to get back down from uh, 2020 metres. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's walk as much as I have. It has been so incredible. Um, and I'm just, I'm just so overwhelmed right now. <laughs> the mountains are so good for me. Such a place of growth and healing and restoration. 
Um, and I'm just talking like this because I'm probably moving tomorrow, uh, heading down to Italy, but might be back. Who knows? Well, I'll definitely be back, just not quite sure when. So I hope you have been inspired to get outside. You don't have to climb a mountain, literally, but try and climb your mountain, metaphorically. Whatever it is that you're called to, whatever challenge, whatever world space, get out there. Breathe in deep, hold on tight, and put your all into your next adventure. And until guys, next time, or until next time guys, order of words, stay wild. See you soon, have a good one. <laughs>